I can't change back. <laughs> I don't think we have another choice. I, I think I tried everything else, right? Else loop. Health loop or deception maybe. What happens if we go back? We can't go back. Unfortunately, it didn't quite go to plan. Anna, your hate towards me, your desire to see me fail is causing all of this. This, this right here, it's a hell's loop. A loop for our final moments together. And it doesn't matter if you died. It will all just start over, and over, and over. Your resistance is what's causing this loop. Why can't you accept that I'm doing this for all of you? For all of you to know a perfect eternity. This is not just for me, but for you too, Anna. We can pass on together. Just you and I. And have a perfect end. This is what we've seen in one of the first notes where it said if you don't accept death when you're sacrificed then you all end up in this loop together forever. I mean it's getting brighter. It's not that bad. I think we've reached the dungeon. <laughs> um. Hello? This doesn't seem safe. Back, front, left. I was just about to say we are not losing battery anymore. Lock. This looks like the basement. Look. Oh. <coughs> Yeah. Somehow, this is for me much less scary than the house upstairs. All those super tight basement things. Well. Behind us, in front of us, where? I think we just have to keep going. Oh no. It's not a game I want to play. I just 
not go in there. I, I, I could, but I think I should. It's locked. Somehow that's worse than if it wasn't locked. No, I don't want to take the doll. Hell no. He said he'd give us a doll. And then we are going to die. Oh no. Oh no. I think we have to collect all of those. And now we are losing battery charges again. Things I've seen and done for <sighs> my own life. I've been through it so many times and I've felt it so many times. Don't you want it to end too? Haven't you had enough? Why don't you think about the rest of us and end this damn loop? Why did you I understand I'm the one that killed you and all the others? But that was over 40 years ago. It's time to forgive and to move on. Why did you kill me in the first place? He wanted us to move on. You should have just... got help. You know? Like normal human beings. And then maybe... we could have moved on living or you you, you could have chosen a, a way less scary place to kill us where it's actually fun to live the afterlife for eternity a max maybe where we can eat burgers forever That would have been great. Oh no, my, my flashlight. It's slowly running out. What What do I do if I have no left? Press 1 to forgive or 2 to not forgive. I don't want to... I, I'm just saving the last bit of light. The thing is I don't want to forgive him, but he murdered three other girls together with me. And they are caught in this hell loop too. So I'm, I'm not sure if he's actually sorry. I'm, I'm not sure if I can forgive him, but he murdered three other girls. And they are caught in this hell loop. No battery. I turned it off, you know. I forgive. All of you, listen. I hope you understand. I cannot take you with me. Truth is, you had to die and accept your death for this to work. I've taken you all in. Hurt you. Then killed you. For my gain. And my gain alone. We are all dead right now. We've been so for quite some time now. Where I'm going, I know. Where you're going, that I'm not quite sure. Nonetheless, I thank you all. And good luck. Oh no. This was the wrong choice. I have no flashlight left. A forgiving horrible ending.
June 22nd, 1968, four girls and a man were found dead in an old abandoned home located in Settlewell. The four girls in the age group between 2 and 6, 2 and 16. Oh. were found dead, scattered throughout the house, with fabric covering their wounded bodies, stuck with horrific amounts of blood. All girls are believed to have died from severe blood loss, while the man has died from suicide from gun to head. From being chained in a cold crawl space, locked in a vault, hung from the ceiling with a hook, and cut to death in a cradle. The scene was the most brutal the town has ever seen. To this we announced this murder as the girls with the fabric face. Being chained in a crawling space, locked in a vault, vault hung from the ceiling, cut to death in a crack. Oh god. Yeah, we're not going to forgive him ever again. So at the end we stayed in the void in dark hell and he got to a better place. Okay, I said I, I'm not a fan of playing games again, but I don't want this to end like this. He just played us all. Oh, me. Okay, I think I'll try the other endings. Um, yes. See you then. Bye bye. And welcome back to the other three endings. An unforgiving one, where we basically do the same thing as last time and just select don't forgive. For the drug one we have to look a little closer at one of the girls or puppets on the ceiling in one of the rooms upstairs. And then there's the last ending and that is called the true ending. For the true ending we need to collect all pieces of the photo to complete the whole picture and allow us to find peace. The first ending we are going to look at is the unforgiving one. It's basically don't collect the picture and don't forgive him. So it's pretty easy. It's basically just uh, run through the game and press number two at the end. So and to not forgive. Never. I hope you know what you're doing. Interesting. We're back here again. Oops. For the drugged ending, we actually have to find a pill to take. And this little pill hides behind the stone wall that we saw earlier. To open up the stone wall, we need a key that we can use in the basement. And this key we can find here. So, remember... Where are you, Anna? Why do you keep running from me? I'm trying to explain something. Could you please shut up? Now you have to use a key, which fits perfectly here. Yes. Time for drugs. Hi. Don't forget to take one per day. It will keep you healthy. Sure. Yep, that's exactly the sound <laughs> that you are going to make when you take a pill. Oh, I think we are already 
feeling some of those drugs. <laughs> we don't forgive. Never again. I hope you know what you're doing. Um. Sure. Not really. This is weird. I can't go upstairs anymore. So... There's only the basement left, I think. We can't enter the basement. Oh, we, we can. Then back to the basement it is. Oh, this opened up. And last but not least, we have the true ending, which will allow us to find peace. So what we have to do for the true ending is get the picture pieces. And I saw the hint that this little note right here is the code for the safe in the basement. We remember there was a house, a clock and a calendar. So we have 8 p.m. June the 2nd. So there was this calendar, so maybe it's 5 for Friday. Yep, picking up this real quick. To collect all the picture pieces, one of them is in the little cupboard. And the number above it are actually numbers uh, of paranormal findings. The percentage you need to open those. So this puzzle piece is a little tricky. And we already saw that in the first playthrough. But it's actually quite simple. You have to pay attention to the note that's on the floor. The arrows tell you to go back, right upstairs, through the door. And then immediately turn around and go back down again. And that's how you can open this door and get to the puzzle piece. Okay, let's see what the true ending is. It's time to not forgive this bastard. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too. I hope I just pushed the right button. Okay, this is the same place like where we took the drugs. Let's see what's happen what happens now. You know, we're trying to leave.
The loop has been successfully escaped, though it is unknown whether all the others made it out too. Over 40 years have passed since the loop has begun. Your grudge has enabled you to get this far. All is safe now. No more hurt will be discovered. Only a passing of one so deserving. Alright, and that were all four endings. As always, you'll find a link to the game in the description if you want to play yourself and support the developer. And I hope you had fun and enjoyed the game. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized I didn't plug in the headphones. The same bloody chair. And I don't mean bloody as in bloody. But the inventory is still at the bar. Okay, I already. <laughs> uh. Yeah, let's start this over. Yes, hello. Hi. Hey! Please don't close the door in my face. Yeah, come on. Good ghost. Come closer. Come. Come out. Come out. Don't be shy. Yes, come out. Shut up. Come on, move. Thank you, finally. Move that chair. Thank you. I could use some drugs right now. If we can find the drugs, we are good. <laughs> Sorry. You know, this is what happens if you snort too many drugs. Yes, cry a little louder. Would you please stop crying? You see, this is what happens when you keep children in your basement. You have to soundproof. Otherwise, this is what you're going to have to deal with. Just shut up already.
Bye bye.